All right, let's start the final activity for today's lecture. For a control system with open loop gain k, g, p of s, h of s, equal to k over s plus 1 times s plus 2 times s plus 10, design a PD controller by selecting values for kp and kd, such that the selling time is reduced by a factor of 2, and zeta is equal to 0 0.707. So notice that a PD controller is a lead controller, so we're going to implement steps 1 through 6 five as well as step eight to check our work. So we've actually already done step one in the prior activity. So for step one, we got that in order for zeta to equal 0 0.707, which means an angle with the real axis of 45 degrees, k was equal to 18.8. And the characteristic equation is delta of s is equal to s cubed plus 13s squared plus 32s plus 20 plus 18.8. This characteristic equation has poles at negative 1.376 plus or minus j 1.376 as well as a pole at negative 10.25 but the dominant pole is obviously the one with the complex conjugate. So TS, the settling time, is equal to 4 over 1.376. So the settling time for this system is 2.9 seconds. Step 2. To reduce the settling time, by a factor of 2, the desired settling time is now 1.45 seconds, which means that sigma d prime is equal to 2.75, and omega d prime, the new desired damping frequency, would be 2.75. So our desired new poles are negative 2.75 plus or minus j 2.75. So now let's sketch our root locus. Recall that our original root locus has a pole negative 1, a pole at negative 2, and a pole way out here at negative 10. So if you shade the real axis parts, the negative 10 pole goes to negative infinity, and the negative 2 and negative 1 pole come together and split apart and go this direction. And we now know that our desired poles are here at negative 2.75 plus or minus j 2.75. For step three, we're going to calculate PS. Remember that PS is the sum of the angles from all of the open loop transfer function poles and zeros to our desired closed loop poles. So first, we're going to have the angle from the pole at negative one to PD, and that's 180 minus the arctangent of 2.75 minus 0 over 2.75 minus 1, which equals 122.47 degrees. Then we're going to have the angle from the pole at negative 2 to PD. So that's going to be 180 minus the arctangent of 2.75 minus 0 over 2.75 minus 2. which equals 105.26 degrees. Then we're going to have the angle from the pole at negative 10 to PD, which is the arctangent of 2.75 minus 0 over 10 minus 2.75, which equals 20. 0.77 degrees. So PS, which is the sum of the angles from the zeros, minus the sum of the angles from the poles, is equal to 
0 minus 122.47 plus 105.26 plus 20.77. So PS is equal to negative 248.5 degrees. So the phase deficiency is equal to 180 plus PS or 180 minus 248.5, which is negative 68.5 degrees. So we need to design the PD controller to supply 68.5 degrees. All right, we're ready for step four. So for step four, the form of the PD controller is GC of S is equal to KP plus KDS. And this can also be written as KD plus S, time, S times S equal to KD times S plus KP over KD. And it can also be written as KP times S plus the zero for the PD controller. So we need the tangent of 68.5 degrees to equal 2.75 minus 0 over negative 2.75 minus ZPD. And when we solve, we get that Z PD is equal to 3.833. Okay, step five, we're going to use the magnitude criterion in order to find KP. So first let's write the compensated open loop gain. So we're going to have K, GC of S, GP of S, H of S, which equals 18.8 over S plus one times S plus two times S plus 10 times KD times S plus 3.833. So for the magnitude criterion, what we have is that the magnitude of K, GC of S, GP of S, h of s should equal 1 when s is equal to negative 2.75 plus j 2.75 and when we solve we get that k d is equal to 1.3 so k p over k d was 3.833 so KP is equal to 4.97. So finally, we can write our controller as 1.3S plus 4.97. And as usual, step eight is to check our work. And so our characteristic equation is s cubed plus 13s squared plus 56.44s plus 13.436, which does have poles at negative 2.75 plus or minus j 2.75 and also a pole at negative 7.48 which does satisfy our design requirements. 
And this concludes today's lecture on root locus design, phase lag, and phase lead compensation.